Everett and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you an easy fall dinner. It's delicious. It's great for those crazy fall nights where you are running around and you're not sure what to make. You can just whip this up. This makes enough for four to six people and on our website and down below in the show notes you can print out the recipe so you have it at home as well. So we're gonna get started. It's really simple and easy. I love this. You can just chop your vegetables. That's really the hardest part. You can go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And again, this is so easy. Grab a big sheet pan that you have, line it with parchment paper, and we're gonna get started. So we're gonna make the dressing first. So we are gonna get a large bowl and we're gonna whisk the dressing in so we don't dirty a lot of dishes. I'm dirtying a lot of dishes, but that's because I'm showing you guys how to make it. I don't usually measure out everything real nice and pretty. You can just dump it all in one bowl. So I have half a cup of aqua fabla, which is the liquid from beans, when either if you cook them yourself or from a can, half a cup of that. We're gonna use a can of chickpeas so you can save the liquid for this. I also have one fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar. That's gonna go in here. And then we're gonna jump into our seasonings. And I also have a whisk just to stir everything up nice. Um, so our seasonings are one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. I have that ready to go right here. I also have a half of a teaspoon of dried thyme, half of a teaspoon of dried sage in here. That's going to give it that fall flavor, which I love. You can give that a nice whisk. We're going to incorporate everything nice and well. And then up last, I have just a little bit of turmeric and black pepper. That's one fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric and a dash of black pepper. Sneak that turmeric in whenever you can. I love it. So I'm just whisking everything until it's nice and incorporated. All of my seasonings are in there. Now this isn't going to drench your vegetables. This really is just going to act as a light coating because you're going to see that we have a lot more vegetables versus the dressing. That's perfect. We don't want it to be soup. It's just going to coat everything to give it a lot of flavor and then we're going to bake it in a sheet pan. So really, really simple. So I'm going to move this aside. Okay, up next is just pretty much dumping everything in. So we're going to add everything but our fresh rosemary I'm going to leave out. So I have some Brussels sprouts here that I've chopped. I also have some sweet potatoes, carrots, and red onions. And again, all of the measurements are down below for you. You don't have to take notes. It's all there for you. Again, there's a lot more vegetables than there is dressing that's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a nice toss. I'm going to grab a wooden spoon, kind of nicely mix it in gently. We just want everything to be like lightly coated. We are SOS free here in my kitchen, so you can think of this as a sub for what you would do with, with oil um, pre whole food plant-based days. And this is just so delicious. It gives it so much flavor and you don't need oil to make this. Now you can substitute a lot of other vegetables. I have in the show notes a ton of other things too, and you can look how beautiful that sun is coming out of my kitchen. Perfect timing for filming a video, right? All right, once that's nicely tossed, I'm gonna add in a can of chickpeas. And then also I have two, uh, two large apples that I've chopped. You can sub this out for pears as well, pomegranate seeds. I like a little bit of sweetness to this as well. It's really, really nice. Nice combination. All right, we're gonna grab our sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna let it kind of evenly spread out. You could put two different kinds of apples. You can use, um, like I said, a pear and an apple. So many great ideas. Let me grab that dish. 
Now I get lots of questions about this pan because it has nice curved edges, which is why I love it. Um, this actually came with the Breville Smart Oven Air. This is the air frying basket. I'm not going to air fry it though. I just treat it as a regular basket. <laughs> um, so I, again, I'm going to cook this at 375 on regular, we're not air frying, just regular, uh, regular, regular oven temperatures, nothing special. We're going to dump. And again, I'm going to give it a nice kind of toss with everything. Going to see how beautiful it looks with all those different colors. All right, and I like to do at this point, you can give everything, again, a nice kind of toss through. Kind of lets everything in the bottom get nicely coated. And then I'm going to put some fresh rosemary on top. That's kind of optional. You don't have to do that. I do find that it adds some flavor. If you don't have that, you also could use dried rosemary along with that um, thyme and sage that we put in here. And I just like to, it's not going to be completely even, but try to make sure you don't have any huge mounds on your baking sheet. This is going to be so yummy. So when we cook this, the thing I'm looking for is the sweet potatoes to be cooked through. One way of making this go a little bit faster is to make them a little bit smaller pieces. Um, and if you're using anything like turnips or parsnips or something like that, again, you just want to make sure they are soft. All the veggies need to be cooked uh, for serving this. It looks so beautiful. And then I'm just going to add my fresh rosemary on top. And dinner is almost done. So I'm going to stick this in the oven, 375 for around... 30 to 40 minutes until everything is nice and soft. I like to put mine on the lowest rack of our oven just so I don't burn anything. I kind of check on it um, to make sure if anything needs tossed, you also could do that, but I find this is the perfect amount of time. And we love to serve this with any kind of cooked whole grain. So I'll make up, you know, farro or something else that we'd like that, and I usually will serve this on the side or on top of it and it's a beautiful, easy fall dinner. So I know you guys are gonna like this recipe. So simple and easy. And I will see you guys when it's done, but if you haven't tried our sheet pan fajita recipe, very similar. I love these one pan meals. You know, life is crazy. It is for me with school and everything else going on, so I need easy like this. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys when it's all finished. And there you guys have it. You have a beautiful, dinner that is delicious. You can take off the rosemary and serve it up whichever way you like. We also sometimes like to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I have the red apple balsamic that's really awesome. Just lately spritzed on top at the end and um, yeah I think you guys are really gonna like this. If you're looking for an easy fall recipe this is the one to try. Try it with lots of different vegetables. Serve it to your family. Everyone's gonna love it and I hope you guys enjoy it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if not, leave us a comment, and I'll see you guys real soon on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. We're gonna go eat dinner. I'll post dinner on the screen now. So good.